going to talk about speed, and we have talked about speed before, and, and we have talked about speed in terms of how fast something is going. Um, so when we look at the definition for speed, we talk about how far something is going in a certain amount of time. And there are two things that are really important about this definition. We need to know distance, and we need to know time. And when we know distance and we know time, we are able to calculate speed. So let's look at an example that um, we all know, um, riding in a car. So when you ride in a car, we know that a car has speed, and we know that a car measures speed in miles per hour. So if we look at our definition, we know that we have a distance, and our distance is going to be measured in miles, okay? and we know we have a time, and our time is measured in hours. And so what does per mean? So if we think about what that word per means, it just means divided by. So when I look at my example, I have miles divided by hours, or distance divided by time. Okay, So when we look at that, we get this formula, speed equals distance over time, or distance divided by time. And if I want to write that in a more simpler version, I could say S equals D over T. Okay. So what is distance? Distance can be measured in miles, it could be measured in meters, it could be measured in kilometers. So when I see those in story problems, that is my distance. Time could be measured in hours, seconds, or minutes. And so when I see those um, words, I know that I have a time measurement. And then speed is going to be a combination of those. So for example, um, meters per second, or kilometers per hour, or miles per hour. So speed will be a combination of those two. And so let's look at an example to kind of see where those units of measurement fit in for us. Okay, so in this example, I have distance of 100 meters, and I have a time of two hours, and I am looking for speed. And so one thing that we're gonna talk about is called the distance speed time triangle. So if we look right here on the board, I've got a distance speed time triangle, and basically this tells me that I have distance on top, speed and time are on the bottom. And I can use this triangle to help me solve for whatever variable I'm missing. So in this particular case, I am missing speed. So I wanna cover speed up. So I know to solve this, I need to have distance, and I need to have time. And so in my problem, I do have a distance, which is 100 meters, and I'm going to put that over my time of two hours. And then I know, because I have distance on top of time, I know that I'm going to divide. This triangle right here tells me distance is on top of time, and I want to divide, okay? So when I divide these out, I get 50, and then I know that my unit of measurement is going to be meters per hour. And I know that because if I look right here in the way that I've set the problem up, it tells me that I have meters over hours. And so that's going to be my unit of measurement for speed. Okay. Let's look at another example. In this example, I am looking for speed again. And so when I look at my distance speed time triangle, I'm going to cover up speed. And it tells me that I'm going to divide. And I have distance on top, and I want to make sure that I include my units of measurement so that I can get the correct units of measurement for my speed. And I have time, which is 10 hours. And so when I divide this out, I can do this pretty simply in my head. When I divide this out, I get 15 meters per hour. Okay. All right, simple enough. Let's look at another example where we're not solving for speed. We're solving for distance. So when I look at my distance speed time triangle and I cover up distance, I notice that speed and time are next to each other. When they are next to each other like that, that means that I'm going to multiply. So I have a new problem, 30 seconds, and that's going to be multiplied by 10 meters per second. And when I multiply those out, I get 300. Now, what will my unit of measurement be? 
I know that when I look at speed, I have meters per second right here. And I know that speed is a combination of distance and time. So when I look at my speed, it tells me that my distance measurement is going to be meters. So my correct answer with the units of measurement would be 300 meters. All right, let's look at another example. In this example, I am missing time. So again, I'm going to cover up time. And I look and I see that I have distance over speed. So I am going to divide. And I have uh, 32,000 divided by 800. And I want to make sure, if you notice here on my example, I did not include a unit of measurement. So it would be very difficult to solve. But if I look right here, I see that I've got meters per second. So I'm going to go ahead and add my meters in. I know that this will be meters and this is meters per second. When I divide that out, I can do this in my head, it's pretty simple. When I divide that out, I know that I get 40, and then I need to determine what my unit of measurement is. Again, if I look at speed, I see meters per second. Meters is my distance, so seconds is going to be my time. And so my correct answer would be 40 seconds. All right, let's look at one more problem. In this problem, it is actually a word problem. And so I have to determine what information they have given me. And so to be able to do that, I need to look at my units of measurement. I see here that I have 50 meters. And when I look at 50 meters, meters is a measurement for distance. So I know I have distance. And then I see 10 seconds, and that is a measurement for time. And it actually tells me that I'm looking for speed. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. I know 50 meters is going to go on top, and 10 seconds will go on bottom. When I divide this out, I get 5 meters per second. And I know that I have meters per second because I can look right there at the problem, and it tells me meters divided by seconds. Okay? If you have any questions, please ask.